Uh, from the Providence Stallions to the Florida Gators, Patrick Young's journey is one we've been following for a long time here in Northeast Florida. And what a young man to follow. Life as we know, it can change in an instant, Dan. Yeah, such was the case for Patrick Young back on June 29th, a day he'll never forget, but a day that he refuses to let define him. And while so much and his life is different now. On this Thanksgiving weekend, we learn just how much Young has to be thankful for. Whoa. You think these two teams don't want it? There's bodies all over the place. This one play embodies Patrick Young and his four-year basketball career at the University of Florida. Heart, hustle, and a burning desire to never, ever give up. You live in even if faith. An even if mindset. What if it's fear based? What if this doesn't happen? What am I going to do? At, you're paralyzed by the fear of the future of what can't happen. It was a career that saw him lead the Gators to four straight Elite Eights, a Final Four, topped a thousand point scoring mark, earned two All SEC hoop honors, and never miss a game. Played at more than 150. Patrick also left Florida as the conference's first three time winner of the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. Played overseas for a few years before injuries finally derailed his professional career. But he always knew there was going to be much more. He just didn't know God's plan for him. I've decided now and for the future that even if things don't go the way it's planned, because that's off, really that's oftentimes how life goes, right. that I'm still going to stand firm in who I am as a man and what I represent. That circumstances might change. I'm, I'm still going to believe God is good. I'm still going to love my wife. I'm still going to love my daughter. I'm still going to be the best man I can be and inspire people. This past summer, Patrick was in Nebraska with his fiance, counting down to his marriage date of July 9th. Took a side job with a friend to make some extra money and was on his way to his final stop of the day. I was going uphill a little bit, up a slope, and then um, you couldn't see the road yet. And as soon as you hit that top point in the road, the stop sign was like, 30 feet away and older truck, dirt road, uh, intersection coming up, didn't have enough time to get the car and truck to stop. So I turned, got completely parallel to the road. Momentum of the truck was still going towards the road and down the ditch, flipped over one time. When it all, the force went down, it just put so much force on my spine and caused it to pop. That moment just was, yeah, absolutely slow motion. It's replays in my mind a lot sometimes like, did that really happen? No one could see the broken truck or broken driver from the road. Thank God Patrick was able to reach his cell phone. My phone was on like 10% battery. Look back on that moment and think, thank goodness my phone didn't die and I was able to grab it because if say my phone flies out of the car, I would have been stuck down there for hours if not days and this would be completely different. After an eight plus hour surgery to repair broken bones, the prognosis was not good. Patrick Young may not ever be able to walk again. We never talked about the word paralyzed. It never came up. And I mean, I know you you have goals of walking again. No one had to say it because it was implied, you know, to, to understand that that was the, but the first time that you realize that's your reality, uh, because it, anything in life, you cannot grow or change or uh, adjust if you don't recognize and accept the current circumstances. And that's the current circumstances to say like, no, I cannot walk, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah, it's, it's weird to say. It's still weird to say because I think I'm so forward thinking. This world is going to try to label you in anything that you do and anything that you are. And I don't want that to be what I'm just associated with. After spending three months in an intensive rehab center in Denver, Patrick Young came home, married with a daughter and in a wheelchair, but more determined than ever to make a choice. Choose joy. The circumstances are what they are, but nothing is taking away my choice of how I'm gonna live my day. So that's, that's how I have decided to live. When I got injured and I was at the first hospital in South Dakota, there was a case manager said, she said, uh, I've seen a lot of people that have gone through things like this and they go one of two ways. They go on a path where they can see the silver line and they become more grateful for life or you know, they go down the opposite path. And she said, what has been so crucial is how they live their days. And it's like, what do you mean by that? It's like you got a positive seed and you got a negative seed that you get to water every day. The seed that you've been planting, that you've been watering every day, that is going to dictate 
what blossoms when you face a crisis. Easy to see Patrick continuing to choose joy over sorrow. Don't get me wrong, he readily admits there are some tough days and there are all sorts of challenges. Really thankful I mean, that we can, we can say again, we're back at you with Daria and the Pats. Yeah. <laughs> Just recently, he started working again and realized how the simple task of getting to the airport and on a plane just isn't the same. But Patrick wants everyone to know one thing. I appreciate so much people's sympathy and empathy for me, but I'm good, I'm okay. I'm fighting through this and I'm living, I'm living my life. Don't want pity, I want people to be motivated. So I don't want you guys to give up on yourselves and don't let this opportunity pass you by. Because I'm telling you, it goes by just like that. In a heartbeat, I will switch places with you guys to do this again, but guess what? That's not how life works. On this Thanksgiving week, Patrick Young remains steadfast. He's so thankful for his wonderful life and all the people in it. And everyone over at ESPN and SEC Network, they made it easy. Yes, I was nervous to be at, to be back out there. This man's spirit is indomitable. I love you, brother, and love thank you so boy. much for spending time with us this morning. It felt good to talk basketball. Yeah. It felt good to be a part of that. Whatever your situation that you're in, I know it can be uh, dark and grim, but you can choose. There's things that you can still control, your attitude, your effort, and your actions. So I'm just living that. Mm. You what know, I'm cool twice guy. his age, and I learned so much more from him than I, he could ever than I could ever teach him. We've known Patrick for a long time yeah. now, and there's no surprise he's got that attitude after yeah. this accident. By the way, shout out to the folks at Brooks Rehab, who yeah. we know uh, so many have experienced over there. So he's in good hands, and, and that's a nice marriage uh, as he continues his road to recovery. And a couple things. He started a foundation. It's py4.org if you want to get more information, including details about an upcoming golf tournament on December 12th. And that's going to help those less fortunate with financial, emotional, and physical support. So, again, I'm not surprised if anybody can handle something like this. And don't, it's devastating. Uh -huh. You know, we talked about just learning to go to the airport, you know, and going through and getting on a, a plane and things like that, which he does for his job. You know, uh, uh, it's Patrick, though. Yeah. He'll be okay. Action Sports Jack's Primetime, Saturday at 1030 on Fox 30.